hello everyone hope you're right in today's video i'm going to dig up my ranaculus and anemone bulbs and i'm going to store them for the next season and i'm going to plant my rubecchia seedlings in these two containers so here you can see my ranaculus and anemone bulbs have done and i left them for a couple of weeks so they dry up so i can dig them out Digging up and storing the bulbs is really easy, especially if you plant the spring flowering bulbs in the containers. It's a good idea to dig them up and store them and you can plant them again next season and you can use the planters for something else. So here you can see this is the anemone bulb. It looks weird. It can be easily recognized and these are the shoots that are there so you can compose them. You need to carefully look for these because they are quite like soil uh, but they can be easily recognized because they are plump and they have growing heads so um, just dig them out carefully this compost is nice and loose so I'm going to loosen the soil a little bit with the shovel and then I'm going to use my hands to dig up the compost so I will run my fingers through to fill the bob so I can take them out and put them in a container which is nice and dry and i will store them in an airtight container in a cool dry place uh, for the summer season and then i can plant them again in late winter and i have got the video when i planted my ranaculus and anemone bulb so i have discussed all the details so i will include the link in the description box so if you want you can check it out so here i'm going to dig up my anemone bobs and then I will dig up my ranaculus bobs and I will show you how they look. So here are my ranaculus bobs combs which I'm going to pull them out so I pull the whole plant out and after removing the roots and the shoots you can easily recognize the combs which look like small telia tubers so they look weird like a spider and you can easily recognize them sometimes they form clumps so you can take them apart so here they have two joined together so if you work carefully you can take them apart so that's how they multiply so I planted five ranaculus bulbs in this container and we have had quite a lot of blooms out of them but they did not do really well for me because our weather is quite um, weird. Sometimes it gets too cold or moist and sometimes it gets too hot. So when it gets hot the blooms peter out so they are done and when it gets too cold or moist they don't like moist weather so i try to put them somewhere where they do not get much uh, moisture but still they were like um, they would look good for a day or so and then they will eat it out soon so i guess i will try to grow them in the ground next year to see if they perform any better for me and ranaculus and anemones are beautiful flowers you can use them in cut flower arrangements and they are really popular these days and I tried to grow them in these containers. They started blooming in late May and they are done by the end of June. So it's like a couple of weeks of blooms. And uh, as I said, the weather is really weird. So they couldn't really cope with the weather we have had here. So we'll see next year how they perform and then I can say more about them. If you have any experience growing ranunculus or anemones in the ground or they can be left in the ground please let me know in comments so i think i would love to leave them in the ground uh, if they can survive the moisture but i'm really skeptical about that because they do not like moisture and we get lots of rain so let's see maybe i can only plant them in the containers and enjoy their blooms for a couple of weeks i guess um, they are better than nothing so i'm going to store these ranaculus and anemone combs in my shed which is nice and cool and dry and i will store them in an airtight container ranaculus bulbs have multiplied quite a lot so they are two to three attached together so i planted five and i have got like 11 12 here 
uh, anemones i guess some of them rotted because as far as i can remember they were like 15 to 20 and i have got only 11 to 12 so some of them may have rotted and they haven't multiplied as far as i can see but let's see how they perform the next season keep watching my channel for all the updates and i post my gardening videos regularly every thursday and i believe that you will find lots of beneficial videos on my channel so please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos now i'm going to clear up these containers and i'm going to refresh the soil and i'm going to plant my rubecchia seedlings which i started from seed so i like to leave my compost in the container because it is really expensive these days and it is hard to get hold of a lot of compost and i already use tons of compost in my garden every year so i like to keep the compost in the container and i will just top it up with a couple of inches of more compost so if you want you can discard the whole thing and start fresh but i like to work on the budget so i will leave the compost that was already in there and add a couple of inches of compost fresh compost and then i will plant my rubecchia seedlings rubecchias are beautiful cut flowers as well and they are really easy to grow i grew them last year and they are amazing flowers they stay in vase for quite a long time so you can easily get a couple of weeks from them in the walls and i will highly recommend if you haven't grown them before please grow them you will absolutely love them they are a good alternative to growing sunflowers as well because sunflowers get too tall so here are my rubecchia seedlings looking nice and healthy and i planted them quite thick so i'm going to break this whole thing in half first so i will plant half of it in one container and the other half in the other container and then i will uh, further divide it in three parts and plant them in the containers i have got a full video on growing rubecchias from seed to harvest so i will include the link in the description box so if you want to check it out it has all the details you need to know to grow your rubecchia plants successfully and the, in that video i planted the seedlings separately but i guess they get taller than i expected so here i'm going to plant them a little thicker because i just want to grow them to have cut flowers so let's see how it impacts their growth if i plant them quite thick so like in groups so i will share all the details with you and i regularly do my garden tours so please find my garden tours on my channel and you can see the whole transformation my garden is going through and i love to grow from seed or cuttings and this is really economical to fill your garden when you grow from seeds so i'm going to plant these seedlings then water them because these days are going nice and dry and warm so water your plants afterwards and make sure you keep uh, an eye on them in first few days after planting because they can struggle due to lack of water if especially if it's dry and hopefully they will grow good for me and i can share all the details with you in coming weeks I hope you enjoyed watching this short tutorial on digging up and storing drug knuckles and anemone bulbs and planting rubecchia seedlings in their place. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos. Thank you very much for watching today. See you next time. Bye.